Hey Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. You guys have been asking us to check out some B660 ITX boards. The only problem is they've been very, very hard to get until now. But before that, make sure you hit that little subscribe button to subscribe to the channel because, you know, if you want to see awesome videos like this, this is what we do here. So today we're checking out the Gigabyte B660i Aorus Pro DDR4. This little guy here. So without further ado, Let's take a bit of a closer look at this new board from Gigabyte, but with all of our motherboard content, these videos are not reviews. They're just overviews so we can take a look at what comes in the box and what's physically on the board with these new boards. So let's dive in. Here it is, ladies and gents, the Gigabyte B660i Aorus Pro DDR4, but let's do what we usually do. Let's get the motherboard out of the box so we can take a bit of a closer look at everything that comes with this new ITX board from Gigabyte for Intel's 12th gen CPUs. First up, we've got these PWM breakout cables. Now, these are designed to save surface area on the motherboard, but to be honest, I don't really like these because recently I've had a bunch of these break. So Gigabyte, please put normal PWM connectors back on the boards. Okay, there's also two SATA or SATA cables for your 2.5 inch SSDs or your spinning rush drives. There's also the Wi-Fi antenna for the built-in Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth. There's a single M.2 screw for the single M.2 slot that is on this board. There's also a 4-pin 12-volt RGB extension cable. They basically put this in the box because it's hard to get to the RGB header on this board. There's Gigabyte's warranty commitment card. Now this will be different depending on the region that you get your board. This is a retail version from Australia, so that's what it looks like here. And last but not least, the B660i Aorus Pro DDR4 manual. Now, this is to help you find out where everything is on the board, what everything is, and how to do some simple BIOS configuration. But let's unsheath this new B660i board from Gigabyte so we can take a bit of a closer look at everything on the board. We've got the front panel header for all your lights and all your switches to let you know your system's up. There's a USB 2.0 front panel header. There's also a USB Type-C front panel header. There's a 4-pin 12-volt RGB header. This is not addressable. And in front of that is a USB 3.2 header. There's also four SATA or SATA ports for your 2.5-inch SSDs or your spinning rust drives. And lastly, there is a 24-pin power connector to send juice to your brand new board. On the top edge of the board, there are the two PWM fan connectors that you need those breakout cables for. There's also a full-size PWM fan header and an 8-pin EPS power connector to send juice to your brand new 12th gen Intel CPU. Towards the PCIe slot, there's a front panel audio header hiding back there, and there's also a 3-pin 5-volt addressable RGB header as well. There's also a full by 16 PCIe Gen 4 slot down there as well for your graphics card. Let's pop the socket open on the LGA 1700 socket, just in case you've never ever seen this before. It is different to Intel's older sockets, and if we take a bit of a closer look, you will notice that there is a lot more contact pins inside this new socket. It's also a physically larger socket too. This board has a 8 plus 1 plus 1 digital VRM setup with 90 amp power stages. And you can see that it's got very beefy heat sinks. The whole IO cover is a heat sink. And there's also heat pipes that connect the heat sinks together. So there's one that connects the top heat sink to the one on the IO cover, and then there's another heat pipe that connects that down to the chipset and M.2 cooler. If we flip the board over, you can see that it's got a full cover backplate, which is an Aorus thing to do on the ITX boards. Most other boards, you probably won't see it like this. For memory support, it supports two DDR4 RAM modules, overclockable up to 5333 mega transfers with a total of 64 gigs of RAM. All right, let's pop off the M.2 heatsink so we can take a little bit of a closer look at the M.2 slot on this board. There's actually two heatsinks, one's for the chipset, one's for the M.2. Anyway, it's got a single PCIe Gen 4 M.2 slot underneath those heatsinks. So yeah, just a single slot on this board, 
Nothing more, nothing less. For rear I.O., we've got a USB 3.2 port, a USB 3.2 Type-C port, two USB 2.0 ports, some more USB 3.2, a display port, HDMI 2.0, not 2.1, the Q flash button. We've got some 2.5 gigabit Ethernet, some more USB 3.2, the antenna connectors for the built-in Wi-Fi 6, a line out jack, a microphone jack, and optical slash SPDIF output for your audio, as well as an integrated IO shield. in the intro, ITX boards for B660 have been not only hard for you guys to get, but hard for us to get. The stock just hasn't been there. In fact, this has been the, the story with most B660 boards since January. So we've only got a handful of them because those are the ones that are available. All the cool stuff and all the more budget stuff still isn't here, but we're slowly seeing them start to trickle in. So we're gonna be covering a bit more B660 stuff, but not in the traditional sense in the way that we would usually do our motherboard overviews. What I'm thinking of doing going into the future is one of two things. The first thing is doing roundups and just big overviews of all the boards in one go. And the second thing is I might even start uploading motherboard overviews to our other channel, Mainbyte, because it might be more interesting over there. And so you guys can see what other stuff we got going on. I don't know if we're gonna to continue to do these types of videos on the Gear Seekers channel because I don't know if you guys find it that interesting, but like I mentioned, we do have another channel that you can watch this kind of stuff on that I'm, yeah. What do you reckon, Claire? I think we should just move it over to Mainbyte, yeah, motherboard overview. So what I'm gonna do with this video, just to gauge your guys' interest is we're gonna upload this one to Gear Seekers and Mainbyte, right? So it'll be the same video but just for people who want to see stuff over there. And if you want to go to that channel to see motherboard stuff in the future, I think that's the way we're going to be doing it going forward. Anyways, the B660i Aorus Pro DDR4, because this is the DDR4 version of the board. Now, as I mentioned, we've been waiting for this board to come since January. It only arrived yesterday. And because, as I mentioned, you guys have been asking us to look at these boards for so long, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give them exactly what they wanted because I think this one is a bit more interesting than any of the Z690 stuff that I've seen, basically because it's got the same feature set essentially. The only thing really missing from these boards is PCIe Gen 5 and maybe an additional M.2 slot, but having single M.2 slots on ITX boards now seems to be the norm and we're gonna see that more. The other thing with this board is because it's the B660 version, you're not really losing that much on the performance side. You are losing some of the chunky heat sinks, which makes it easier to fit cools on. So I do like that. And as I mentioned in a couple builds that we did, especially with the Leon Lee A4 H2O build, the heat sinks on these ITX boards for the M.2s and the chipset is just getting ridiculously large and with the B series boards from Intel and AMD, those heat sinks are much smaller, which is something that I can totally get behind. But other than that, I mean, this looks to be a fairly decent B660 board. The only issue I have, again, with all of these new boards is the pricing. Because if you're interested in the Gigabyte B660i Aorus Pro DDR4, they're going for around 275 US dollars or around 349 Aussie dollars at the time of filming this video. Obviously, that's subject to change over time because boards do get cheaper over time. But right now, they're looking like a fairly expensive option. And I'm only saying this because if we look back to Z490 and even B550 boards, 
they were cheaper than this at launch for most of those boards, right? Even Z490 was cheaper than B660. So the trend of prices for these small boards is forever going up. But if you're a small form factor or ITX enthusiast, I'm sure you'll be happy to pay that money because the smaller you go, the more expensive it costs. It's kind of like the world is flipped on its head with pricing with smaller stuff. What I'll do is I'll chuck a link in the description to the main bite channel and the exact same version of this video if you wanna go watch it over there as well. And if you like this video, do yourself a favor, hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell for more videos on the channel. We're gonna be shifting gears a little bit with the type of content we're doing here. We wanna make it more fun for you guys as well. And if you wanna get early access to those videos, this video, and all of our videos, head on over to Floatplane. If you like the music you heard here, I make all the music. It's available by clicking the join button or going to Floatplane or Patreon. We've got lots of different ways to support the channel. Also, before I forget, there's something very important you guys should look at. Look at this graph, look at the graph, look at the graph. I don't like doing this very often, but you know, sometimes I just need to grab your attention. See this graph right here? We need to change this ladies and gents in 2022. We need to change this big time. It needs to be the other way around. So get yourself subscribed and all that jazz. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak, we seek and I appreciate you guys so very, very much, more than you could possibly ever understand. And I know this is something that YouTubers always say, but without you amazing people out there, we wouldn't be able to call this little hobby that we started out as our job. It's amazing. Thank you guys for everything you do for us. And thanks for watching. Missing you, missing you.